you're going to look at putting together a self-watering hanging basket. And as you can see here, you've got all the parts that you need in it. The instructions are on the back if you want them. They're fairly straightforward though. So let's get into it and see what we have. The chain to hang it. The basket itself. A base, and it goes the other way around. It goes that way around when we actually put the basket together. And a pipe to irrigate the basket. So it's fairly straightforward. So let's get down and get it done. Right, hole there, pipe. Push the pipe through the hole, and obviously that's you pour the water down there, and that keeps the reservoir at the bottom of the basket topped up. You have a little tongue hanging down there, or tail, call it what you want, and that collects the water and keeps that moist, which in turn keeps the compost moist. There we are. So just give me a second. Now there's the basket, and you can see from the outside it's got that little dome on the bottom, and that's the actual reservoir. So, let's put it together. There we go. So remember, tail or tongue hanging down into the water. Just soak it up. Sit together nicely like that. Move it around to get it away from the chain hole so you can get the... and lean it slightly outwards like that. So when you pour the water, it goes in neatly. So, let's get that set up. Change. Self-explanatory. For the hanging off. There we are. Shake them out. A little look. And it's a fairly straightforward. In fact, it's one I prefer is easier. You just drop that through there, turn it around, and then it gives you attention. So right, so let's start putting it together. Compost in. And I'm using my usual 50-50 mix with some slow release granules added to it. Should take it to the rest of the season. Half of it and then gently, gently tap it down. And then what we're looking to do then is to fill it up to the rim roughly by there. So there you go. Getting it done. Use it to spin the basket now and then reach over it. And it's surprising how much you can get into one of these. This is a 5 litre mix. It's nearly all going to go into this. I think a, bit, a little bit left, but you'd be surprised. Right, that's loosely packed. And allowing for scraping out and putting the plants in, which will displace them. That's probably all the compost that we're going to need. And I say every time that we need to do it now, we just water through that little spout there. Pour the water in, including your liquid feed. And that will fill the reservoir at the bottom up. And the tongue stroke tail that we left hanging down in the water will bring it up to the capillary matting. And that will keep hopefully when you're away at work or out for a while or away on holiday or something like that it'll keep it going if you have to have a friend or a relative to water it for you what could be simpler but just remember hanging baskets need to be watered at least once a day in very very hot weather so you could possibly water it first thing in the morning when you're having your cornflakes and when you come home in the evening but the way to test always, not just water for the sake of it, is just lift the basket up and feel the weight. And if it feels light, water it. If it feels as if there's a little bit of weight in there, then you should have some water. So there we are. Let's just pop the chains in to complete the job. Make sure they're not tangled up, which is my favourite trick. Should push it down. Through the hole. Easier said than done, Michael. There we are. Let's put it. There we are. Pull against it and it takes all the weight you've got. Sometimes you have a nasty habit of 
playing it, but just hold them up like that so that it's in line with itself. You can push it through the hole, drop it down, and pull up. There we are. Okay, that's a satisfying little clip. Tell you that it's okay. And then we have the last one to put in. Oh. I'm just going to stick mainly with geraniums, with a little bit of foliage colour, and that's it. I'm interested to see if I can make a big nest, if you like, of um, trailing pelagoniums. So we'll make a start. I've got this white one for the front, and I'm rather hoping I can twist it around and adjust the chain to make it work. They've been soaked for a couple of hours. Make sure that the root ball is nice and moist. And although it's dry on the surface, I can feel that it's quite wet underneath. So we pop that one in there. Just a little bit more depth wanted, I think. There we are. Right, and so it's quite moist underneath. We can always add a little bit more compost to the top. Right, so we've got, that would be the front, more or less. That will trail down. So the other two will go either side. And I'm not trying to be over creative, as I say, for me, this is an experiment. I just want to see how they perform. We have a very, very hot front of the house. It faces west and it gets the heat all the afternoon and it really bakes. So I'm just hoping that these will be able to take it and give us a bit of colour. Once again we burrow in down and that's it. So we've got that one in. I'll add a little bit more compost before I hang them up. There we are. And we've just got to get one in on this side now around the pipe. And I'm hoping this works. I've got this one which is growing either side so Let's see. What's oh, nice and moist. You can see the, the water in there. And that's the way you want them. And what you really want is for the, wa the water and the compost to attract the roots out into it. Okay. It takes about a week or so for a, a plant to settle down in its new position. So I'll try and get that out of the side of the pipe. And there we are. So we've got that in there. That's a little bit untidy for the moment but I want to get this chain in to make sure there are, there are no snags. Just pop the chain in. And it goes. There we are. Right. So we have that. And hopefully it's going to work. So we have the chain there. What I do have to hand is a little bit left over from previous baskets a little bit of nepita which I particularly like it grows down and it fills and I think it just adds a touch of elegance to them and I say it also serves to disguise the pot this is one of my mother plants so to speak so what I'm gonna to have to do here is to just try and carefully divide it and believe it or not, it will eventually grow. And that will fill in around the chains. Go down quite nicely. So you may have to take a little bit more off there. So don't be afraid to push them a little bit. They will the smoke balls and things like that. There we are. Okay, so let's just lift it up a little. Let it go. And we'll see what will happen. I'm a little bit concerned about the back there, but we'll see what happens with it. See if it all fills in. Slightly guided by the pipe. Look for the tube. There it is. And just pour it in. There we are. And hopefully that will be absorbed. And the secret, I think, with any, any pot container is get used to the weight and that's nice and heavy now i'm going to leave that there overnight and i'll take it out and hang it up tomorrow somewhere shady but get used to the weight so when it comes to wanting to replenish them 
If they feel light, then water them. If they feel reasonably heavy, then leave them alone, and that way you won't overwater them.